Right, okay. Welcome YouTube to my piranha feeding time. Crazy Ridge. They've been good this week. Tons of guppy. Breeding like crazy. These have been good. And that bit of wood is still in there somewhere. They play with it. Oh, I've got some more moss balls. I've got an extra moss ball in here. They're all right until they tear them in pieces. And I put an extra moss ball in with Nosferatu, my vampire fish. So I've brought, because I have actually got a moss ball hidden behind that sponge filter over there. It's hidden behind there so they don't tear it up. So it's good to have something in there that eats some of the nitrates, you know. So feeding time for these. You ready, Rich? Stay tuned for a pike update as normal. I've been having a bit of success, or I would, would I call it success? More of a compromise, I think. Um, things have been working out, but it's always like, it's a bit of a compromise. But, but anyway, stay tuned for a pike update. Later on, I shall dip these in. You ready for a feed, Reg? Hey? Ready for a feed? Here you go. Let's drop that in for Reg first, if he's in his feeding mood. If not, we'll pop it in here with the others. Are you ready, Reg? He's looking worried, more worried about me at the moment. Are you gonna feed or shall I put it in with the others? Hey, what are you doing? Oh, he's doing his dance. Let's drop it in with the others for now. He's doing his dance. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. That was a quiet one. Their teeth are so sharp you don't even feel it. Here you go, I better take it out because Reggie's got to have some. Cool, all of the bottoms are missing. Come on, Reg. That's you're gonna miss out, mate. Oh, no. This trace is in a bit of a mess now. Come on, Reg, you're going to miss out. Yeah, I've got to siphon today and clean it as usual. I think I might need to drop them in today. I've had some people visiting, and they didn't put off John Snow and one eye there. But Reg is a little bit, a little bit. Plus, I think I've just woke him up again, being an old man and all. Let's drop, drop these in. If I can do it one handed again, it's so bloody awkward. Hold on. Let's drop some. Heads in for them, for a change. Go on, Reg. And just one one more head. And that can be for Reg. Yes. You ain't sure you know. I think I put all the lights on, I think I woke him up. From a snooze. I'll leave that one in there anyway. So, um, stay tuned. But it's time for an update on the pike. Then I was just waiting to see if he's gonna come and get it. He could have come and get it, Rich. Maybe, maybe he says. Yes, that's good. Now they've had. Quite a bit of the bottom end of the sprat, so they're, they're all right, I reckon. Right, time for an update on Z Pike. Well, as last week, um, Lucius took a, a fish, didn't he? That was connected, a small fish connected to loads of worms, and it worked. 
Um, so I'm going to try that again this week. Um, see if he actually goes for it again. Only this time I'm going to use, rather than cotton, I'm going to use a little bit of super glue. Now, you're probably thinking, oh, is that going to hurt him? But I'm going on the basis that I used to be a bass player in a band, and sometimes your fingertips will get really messed up if you have a lot of playing and, and then a break or whatever, and then you come back to a lot of playing. So I used to put super glue on my fingertips, and I got into the habit of all biting it all off sometimes and eating it. I'm still here, so I've been tested on myself. So I'm trying a little bit of super glue, stick the worms to the smaller fish, plenty of worms, small fish, and see if he goes for it. Let's give it a go. Well, there you go. I think he has to be really hungry before you do this kind of thing. But he's taking it. Bit of a compromise. It's not really dead food. He's still eating what he thinks is live, but he's taking some dead in at the same time. Good compromise, maybe. There you go. He's been good. I've dropped in a couple of worms for the perch, but he has them when I shut the lid. When I shut the lid, he actually comes out and gets them then. Um, so the perch has been fed as well. Ooh, ooh. Uh, stay tuned as uh, do an update on a vampire fish my vampire fish called Nosferatu so that's coming up stay tuned okay Nossi's turn and he knows it Good for food for your Nossi He's been good, no problems. Oh, go and get me tweezers. Oh, sorry about that. Got me tweezers. Yeah, he's got a moss ball in here now as well. So I said earlier, I've got some more moss balls. Not that there's a nitrate problem in here because he's only one fish. And small, I'm always getting bigger now. And I'll see he's getting bigger, slowly. Right, let's give you some fish. Fish bits, you're going to take it on the way down, or you're going to eat it off the bottom like you do now. <laughs> Here it comes. He's getting bigger. I would say three times the size he was before. Oh, Nossie, he's starting to get that real. Fish, uh, shape of these type of fish, you know, like the armatus, starting to mature a bit, you know. That's the first bit. He's saying, "Stop talking and feed me." Next bit. In it goes. Still busy looking at me. Here you go. Oh no. Still looking at me. Problem is I've got two bits here that are float. I wonder if you see it. 
He doesn't eat it off the bottom very often with me sat here. He's too busy looking at me, look. Go and eat your food. Okay. There's a mouthful of teeth. Loads of little teeth and two great big ones coming up from the bottom jaw. And there's holes in the top jaw so the teeth so they can actually shut their mouth because the big teeth go into the holes. Don't they? You're a beast. Those teeth. It's like a trap door, that jaw. It's crazy. You grab that bit. Yeah. There he goes. Yeah. Oh, they're bent. His big teeth are slightly bent. They do, they fall out and he grows some more. So it's not a problem. They come out straight again. That's good. Another piece for Nossie. If it's sink, these are bits that are, I chose these bits last because these ones, well, it's sinking better than it does in the tray. That was really good there. He came close to the glass and I was able to get really close. Cool. These are almost the weight of water, so they drop slower, which is good. Oh, see? You can have this bit. Have you already swallowed the other bit yet? Oh, yes. Nossi Faratu. Which is actually the old name for Dracula, if you didn't know. Because of his massive teeth. Yeah, I've said before, when these get bigger, these actually eat piranha. Or his bigger cousins as well, definitely, Armatas. Right? Oh, giving it a munch. Here you go. I'll let him eat that. Nosferatu's been fed. That's a nice close up there, actually. I shall look back on that. He come right up to class, didn't he? Good. Thanks for watching, everyone. Nosferatu. Do a close up. Nossie. What he says. Trying to eat. Thanks for watching, everyone. Check out some films now that's coming up on the screen. Feel free to touch one of them, click on one of them, and I'll see you again some other time. Oh yes.